Murmuration is a festival that explores the patterns created when art, science, and technology intersect. Joining us are architect and professor Chandler Ahrens and Murmuration co-founder Brian Cohen. Thank you both for being here. So I think I was saying to you, I just even before I got to the station today, I was getting all the emails about Murmuration coming up. So there's a lot of buzz around this. This is very exciting. So Brian, let me put this into context. You brought us Lufest, <laughs> and now you're bringing us Murmuration. So how did this all come about? Um, well, I, you're, yes, I, I started Lufest in 2010. Um, grew it and kind of oversaw it for five years. Um, felt like it was a point where I could pass it off and, and do something else. Um, so I started thinking about what my next move would be. Um, I knew I wanted to stay in music because that's, that's what I love most of all. Um, but I also got, I've always been interested in public art and how art intersects our, our, our daily lives as we move in and out of it. So I thought, you know, a, a, some kind of festival that looked at art and music in interesting ways uh, would be something that, that I would in, enjoy working on. Then I was fortunate enough to meet Dennis Lauer, the CEO of Cortex, and he was interested in doing a, a large celebration to explore and celebrate all the things that were happening within the innovation community in St. Louis. So we, we kind of put our heads together and said, you know, if we do music, art, science, and tech, that's a very nice sounding kind of event, and, and I think we could do something really interesting with that. He agreed, um, and that's how Murmuration was born. Okay, and you have to tell, explain the definition of Murmuration. <laughs> murmuration. So, Murmuration in nature is when starlings come together in the sky and create very intricate patterns. Uh, most of us have seen it, but maybe not all of us know that there was a name mm -hmm. to it. Um, but that is Murmuration, and that is our guiding principle. What happens when things in the art world come together with things in the technology world, what, what, what patterns are, are created. Okay, so this is a three-day festival. It's free for people to attend. It's happening in Cortex. How is it gonna look? Like when people show up, what's it gonna, what's it gonna consist of? It's, it's a lot of stuff. Some of it is free, like you said. Um, some of it is ticketed. Um, so we have a very substantial music showcase with national touring bands and local artists. Um, that's a ticketed part of the festival. We have what we're calling our thought sessions which are talks and conversations and panels on robotics, virtual reality, kind of cutting edge um, um, ideas that are out there. Um, and then we have a number of areas in our, our the free side of the festival. Maker Expo is a DIY um, opportunity for people to come out and get in front of an audience and show what they're working on in their, in their garages. Um, we have an innovation showcase, which is an opportunity for others in the innovation space. Mm -hmm. um, Murmuration is at Cortex, but this is about the entire community. Um, so people from downtown, from the county, from across the region will have a physical presence within the Innovation Showcase. Um, we have a Future Innovator Zone where Science Center and Magic House and some other big players in that, in that space mm -hmm. are going to come and do interesting things. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have, of course, the uh, Art at Murmuration, um, which is we've invited five local artists to create large-scale installations. We'll place those throughout the campus. Um, and then over the three days, people will be able to come and experience them and then vote on their favorite one. And the winner will be uh, awarded a $5,000 cash prize um, and also the opportunity to house that um, piece of art on the Cortex campus oh, okay. until next year's event. Oh, that's very neat. And Chandler, that, that might be you. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, so tell us more about how your sort of public art work that you're going to have uh, sort of on display. Absolutely. Well, and what's interesting about this festival, it's a combination of art, science, technology, and music. And really, you know, art and uh, technology right now are having so much of an impact. Um, we're surrounded by technology every day, uh, but it really impacts the way we perceive our environment. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're really taking an approach. Um, uh, I've been I've partnered with um, John Carpenter and uh, Aaron Sprecher, and together we are developing um, uh, an environment for interactive art display. Uh, so we're combining kind of the abstract world of the virtual reality and uh, the real world in the physical environment. I think we're, we have a, a rendering or a sketch that we were just looking at, but we also have a video that we're going to get to mm -hmm. in the second segment. But if you want to learn more information, it's Murmuration Festival. It's taking place the 23rd through the 25th at Cortex Innovation Community down at Cortex. You've heard the name, of course, but for more information, go to murmurationfest.com. Um, but don't go anywhere. We're going to learn more about what Chandler's going to be doing at the festival and discuss more about the details. So please stay with us. We just have a short break.